Moving on, last Friday, an 18-month-old Palestinian toddler was burned to death when Israeli settlers set his home ablaze in the West Bank. Now, the crime enraged hundreds of Palestinian youth who clashed with Israeli forces. With the latest now, we go to our Palestinian correspondent, Noor Harazin. Over the last week, tension have risen in the West Bank between Palestinians and Israeli forces, resulting in the arrest of dozens of Palestinian youth. At least 20 Palestinians were also injured, and a man named Layth al Khaldi was killed in the clashes. The escalated tensions began in the end of July when hundreds of right wing Israeli extremists, under the protection of Israeli police, stormed the Holy Al Aqsa compound and attacked Muslim worshippers inside the mosque. The attack enraged Palestinian youth who clashed with Israeli forces. Then on Friday, July 31st, the Palestinian people woke to the tragic news, the tragedy of the Wabsha family, when a Palestinian toddler was burned to death by two Israeli settlers who had set fire to his home overnight. This violent act has risen further tensions in the cities around the West Bank. This wave of violence was not newly created. It all started in 1948 when Palestinians were kicked out of their lands and when their lands got occupied. Now our enemy, the Israeli state, and its extremist government are trying to continue their project by exiling more Palestinians out of their land. That's what they aim for, and that's why they keep on treating Palestinians in such a racist and inhuman way. However, the Palestinian youth are answering them back by sticking to their lands and defending it in all possible ways. Palestinian human rights groups have confirmed that at least 20 Palestinians from the West Bank were arrested by Israeli defense forces in the tension last week. Meanwhile, residents in Gaza fear that the raising tension in the West Bank could drag the Gaza Strip to a new expected Israeli offensive. Nur Harazin, TV, Gaza.